Okay. Uh, good evening, Nigerians. Dear Senator Ahmed Bola Tinubu, former governor of Lagos State, uh, today I patiently and quietly listened to your speech and um, psychologically I have to watch that video over and over again. I took time to watch it. And then um, in that video, you sat down and then started speaking, of course, from your normal point. I decoded that you were very, very high on cocaine, as usual. The whole world, at those states, Lagosians and everybody knows that you're on drug. And so it's, uh, it's, not, it's not surprising to note that you, Senator Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, immediately after taking drugs, took to the camera to speak on some issues which borders on a dual state and not Lagos. Quickly, let me mention the things you, you the, the important aspect I picked in that video, and then I'm going to respond. You know, and the whole world know, that my governor is not the talking type. He's not the type that had time for frivolities, especially issues that you are raising up. But comfortably, I will not allow this particular statement that uh, you make. I will not allow it just go like that. If nobody is ready to respond to you the way it should be, I am going to respond to you, and I'm going to give you an ultimatum. This is the issue you raised. Uh, you said you suffer to bring about democracy in Nigeria. Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, in 1998, when the struggle for Nigeria's democracy was about to be racked up, you were not in Nigeria. Maybe you have forgotten. Let me refresh your memory. Sir, in 1998, the period between 97 to 98, you were in the United States of America. You were battling a drug case. You were caught with drugs, hard drugs, heroin, cocaine, and all the rest of it. You, that because that was your business, you were not a legit businessman. You were a negative one. You were an illicit and illegal drug peddler. You were caught with heavy grams of cocaine, and then that is where you you brought about the concept of plea bargaining. You pleaded with the government of the United States. You gave up the cocaine and large sum of money and then came back to Nigeria poor, very, very poor in 1998. Out of shame, you negotiated with friends and cronies and they agreed to make you the governor of Lagos State. Of course, the election was rigged and you came in. Can you boldly tell Nigerians my network is bad, but I will address you. Can you boldly tell Nigerians that as at 1998, where the struggle was in the heat of it, that you were in Nigeria? No. You were battling between going to jail and working as a poor free man. And you got the ticket to work as a poor free man. You were very, very poor. What was your what in 1998? You are not talking about uh, you suffered to bring democracy. No. When people who are talking of suffering for democracy are talking, you should be quiet. You were not on ground. You were just one opportunity, opportunist, one beneficiary, one man who was picked from the street to come and benefit from government, and you sacked the government of Lagos State. You came into government a poor man. You left a multi-wealthy man. So when we are talking of people who uh, you are talking of the values and their pains, what pain? Yes, sorry for that. You also talk about uh, 24 House of Assembly members, uh, 14 were stopped, and all the rest of it. For crying out loud, Senator Ahmed Bolatinubu, if you want to be sincere to your conscience, you see that the problem is your own boy Adams Ali Osumole single-handedly ask those 24 House of Member, uh, rest, uh, Assembly members not to appear for inauguration. And of all of them, 10 said no. They were going to serve their people. 
the 14 other idiots moved to Abuja and thought they could play party politics to subvert the will of the people. And that is where we are, where we are today. That's why we are here. That's why we have only 10 members instead of 14 inaugurated. Your own boy, your own student, Adams Ali Osomole, thought he could be doing the illicit things you are doing in Lagos, in Edo State. But the people of Edo State told him no. In all of this, Governor Godwin of Basaki did not stand him. We are the ones who said no to it. So when you are talking, your party and you, who is claiming to be the national leader, you should be ashamed of yourself that the people who are elected to represent our people could not come out. They neglected their assignments for the sake of serving a bedridden short godfather called Adam Ali Osomole. For the sake of being loyal to you, a political drug addict. And I mean, what do you tell the people of Edo State for? We have told you over and over again, Edo is not Lagos. And we are, we, we are serious. We mean it. Then you are not telling the people of Edo State to reject Governor Godwin Obaseki at the poll. How? Why? Why will the people of Edo State reject a governor who has reformed our educational sector? Why do you think the people of Edo State will reject a governor who brought a modular refinery first in Nigeria by a state governor first in Nigeria by by a state, gov uh, a state governor first in Africa by a state governor? Governor Amebola Tinubu, between the period of 1999 to 2007, that you had sway as the governor of Lagos. Your allocation a month as a then is still more than what Edo State is taking now. What did you do as the governor of Lagos State? What did you do? Isn't it surprising? Isn't it bewildering that in four years, all the time you as a governor in Lagos even spent with all the huge money, all the all that were coming in as uh, as internet generated revenue monthly, with Lagos starts to receive the highest in Nigeria. You couldn't do anything like what we have in Edo State. And then you are here telling us, telling us that we should reject the governor at the poll. Uh, let me surprise you, sir. If there's anyone that needs to be rejected, not just at the poll, but in Edo State, it's Adams Aliu Oshomole. Your Excellency, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, I will not strip you of your respect, but I will respect you and reply to you, reply you accordingly. Like I said before, you brought a toad pains upon Lagosians. Can you please, you are talking about uh, somebody who uh, wants to destroy uh, the values and the pains that you all pass through for democracy. Like I've said, you are not part of it. But I want to state it clearly. If you are bold enough, sir, if you are bold enough, sir, can you tell Lagosians what happened to the PDP, Demo uh, the, uh, PDP uh, gubernatorial candidate in Lagos in 2006? Can you tell us what happened to Anthony Olufunso Williams, who was murdered on the 27th of June 2006? Under your watch as the governor of Lagos State, Funso was murdered. What did you do? Can you please tell the whole world what happened to him? Can you also stand and tell Lagosians and tell Nigerians why Leki Ikoyi Aziz is having two toll gates instead of one? Can you tell the whole world why the Ikoyi toll gate, why you are taking 40% of the daily income of that gate. Can you tell Egosians why you sold the whole of Ibeduleki to Dangote and the people and the, the people the land is underdeveloped? Can you tell us what you use that money for? Can you please again, sir, tell us that why you, a man who came into Nigeria in 1999 and became governor, a very, very poor man, why you became so rich and you are, the, you are the biggest landlord in Lagos. As it turns out, the lands in Lagos, you own over 15% of those lands. Can you please tell us? Can you kindly tell us, sir, 
Why you a common man, a man who was poor just about 22 years ago or less, a man who was very poor, who came back poor, a deportee for that matter, how you amassed so much wealth, aside being governor of Lagos State, sir, which business did you do to amass such wealth? Can you please tell us? Can you kindly account for the lives of the people that were lost through assassination in Lagos between the period of 1999 to 2007. Can you kindly tell us, sir? Senator Vola Ahmed Tinubu, please, sir. We have said it before. Edo is not Lagos. I want to tell you this, sir. I am not those one of those youths who say a word and don't stand by it. You are not a freeborn of Lagos. You are also not a freeborn of Edo State. The only thing you enjoy, the only thing you enjoy, the only guaranteed trust that you enjoy is that you are a Nigerian. Go to Oshun, your state, and try this nonsense. Leave Lagos alone. Senator Amebola Tinubu, if you make any ill statement again about Edo State, I will personally mobilize against you. I will chase you out of Lagos. It's not threat. It's not threat. I'm a free born of Edo State. I am a stakeholder in our society. I want the best for our people. In Governor Godwin Obaseki, I have found in him the ingredient that is needed for the advancement of Edo State. And we are not going to let him go. Even if he decide and say, I am tired, I want to go and rest. No, that four extra year must be completed. For you and for Adam Sosomole, your time is up. We are retiring you from politics, whether you like it or not. After September 19, after September 19, we, the people of Edo State, will not tell Adam Sosomole our demand. Since Adam Sosomole now says he wants to resign his citizenship as an Edo man, let him pack his load and go to Lagos. If the youth of Edo State are scared, I will mobilize them to chase Adam away from, Lagos, from Edo State. Can you kindly go and tell your own Adams? You and Adams connive together. The water storm project that you said is 30 billion. That money was withdrawn three times. It was 90 billion you people took. And that is why today the, 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 the petition that were written against Adam Sosomole, they were found in the house of Mabu. What did you do to it? You are talking about the values and the pace of democracy. You should be quiet, you know, when people are talking. You should be quiet. I don't really blame you. I am not a short man. I have discovered that people who are extremely short, like you and Adam Sosomole, you reason under your foot. You don't reason with your brain. And that is why you, 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 you come to camera to say all the nonsense you want to say. You don't want the Dose to be developed like Lagos. Oh, you don't want the Dose to grow with speed. Your own boy, Governor, uh, Governor Sobolu, copied a dog best policy. And it's working in Lagos. I know it's paining you that Lagosians are getting the best of education. So you want a Dose people to lose? No, you've gotten it wrong. Sir, I think when it comes to moral condemnation, moral judgment, you, Senator Bola Mesh Tinubu should be quiet. You don't have the moral sanity to talk. You should keep quiet. You should salute your mouth, envelop your mouth. You shouldn't talk. I have said it again. Any little word you say again about Edo State, after this election, I have the right to protest. I will mobilize Edo citizens. I will mobilize Lagosians whose commonwealth you have stolen over the years. We will chase you out of Lagos. And if you think it's not possible, I want you to reply. I will personally chase you out of Lagos. I will mobilize and chase you out of Lagos. I will move you out of Babylon and return you to your village in Osun. Go and develop your, your village. Go and develop your village. You are stealing the wealth of Lagosians and you are keeping it to yourself, impoverishing the people of Lagos. And you are on camera talking about moral justification, telling people not to vote for uh, Obaseki. Who are you? Do you have a vote? If you know you have a vote, come to Edo State and vote. Then we will tell you that we are not Lagosians. You think you can pamper Lagos and you use handkerchief to clean their brain and do everything. You think you can try that, you can try that in Edo State? 
Something must be wrong with you to be speaking about the gains of democracy. What did you do? Something must be wrong with you. Your president, in this heat time, that economy in the world have met down because of COVID-19. Your president hiked the, the, the petroleum pump price. Your president hiked electricity price, and you could not talk. But in 2012, you were saying, save, uh, 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 save Nigeria, save Nigeria. You came out to save Nigerian group. You shut down Nigeria for 12 days. And now you cannot shut Nigeria. You are now telling us that we should not vote for democracy. We should not advance our people. You should be, you be, you should be ashamed of yourself. Your own boy, Adam Ali Osomole, came out and said one man, one vote. It's surprising to know that that Lilliput is not talking about one man, one vote again. And you are here telling us what you want to tell us. You want to put a criminal on us? Before your Adams insult pastor, uh, insulted Pastor Sagi Izeyamu, I was the one who brought out the dirty lining. Go and read it. I will send it to you. The first article I made of Sagi Izeyamu, a kettle calling pot black, that was what opened the eyes of Osomole to go and investigate. And the investigator that discovered the guy, the, 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 the guy was, is, and will always be a thief. He said it with his mouth. And then you are now telling a dose state to abandon a proven candidate, you are telling a dose state to leave a refined man. You are telling a, a dose state to, oh God, to abandon Obaseki for a thief, to abandon Obaseki to go and vote for Izeyamu, Izeyamu a cultist, Izeyamu a, a, a night worker, Izeyamu that carries AK-47, Izeyamu that sponsors terrorism, Izeyamu that sponsors that sponsored terror in the door state, that maimed people, an architect of violence, you are asking a door state to bring such man on board. Did you know what Isayamu have done to a door state? He steals people's money, he steals government's money to develop his life and all others. He is my, I'm a member of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Isayamu is also a member of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Where I am sitting, he cannot talk. He cannot talk because I will expose him. I have never seen him as a pastor. There is no anointing upon his head. Because he has no certificate. And he was not called to the bar. And that was why he rushed to pick his Bible. And that was not the truth. And then you sat down on that chair like an over 10 baby to tell uh, those states that the Basaki should not be, uh, so, uh, they should not vote for Basaki. Who are you to tell us that? Senator Tinubu, I have respected you as, a, as an elder for a very, very long time. The governor may not act. Because he's a, he's a very, very calm person. Yes, in my own humility and in my own capacity, I have told you, and I'm saying it again, I can chase you out of Lagos. I can chase you out of Lagos. People have been calling you Tiff Nubu, Tiff Nubu, Tiff Nubu. You think you are not a thief? Is it because you are quiet? Are you not a murderer? You are murdering Lagos economy. You are murdering Lagos force. You are stealing everything. What was the offense of Ambode? Can you tell the whole world the offense of Ambode? Oh God, please just go and sit down. Sit down and, don't, and, and be quiet. You are old enough to sit down in your house and be quiet. You have no justification. You have no moral license to talk, any, to talk, to talk anyhow in Nigeria. You have no moral license to advise Nigeria on what to do because you are morally bankrupt. You are a waste of resources to Nigeria. You are a waste of resources. I regret having you as a Nigerian because I cannot find your common contribution to this nation other than stealing and stealing and stealing. You that came to Nigeria in, 1990, in, the, in the eve of 1998 as a very, very poor man, a deportee, a retired drug addict, you were forced to retire by the by United States government. You are not coming to tell us what we do in Nigeria. Oga, okay? Edo is not Lagos. Edo is not Lagos. People can be scared of you. I am not scared of you. I have just told you, if you challenge me, if you challenge me, from now to December, I will move you out of Lagos. I am not boasting. I will move you out of Lagos. There is nobody I want to fight that I cannot fight because I won't fight you alone. I will call God Almighty down. And we come to your house together, me and God. We will push you out of Lagos. Who are you? They're not talking and telling us, uh, telling Lagos, uh, telling uh, 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 Lagos, and uh, you are sitting in Lagos. You should have, you should have been bold enough to come to a doctor and make that broadcast. If nobody comes for you, I will beat you on that camera. 
I don't mind beating you on your old age. When they don't talk the way they're supposed to talk, to children mess them up. I'll mess you up. And this is a warning to you and your likes in Nigeria. We are not going to take this anymore. The youth are not standing up. I'm going to mobilize the youth now. There's going to be a national awakening. There's going to be a national consciousness. For you people to know that is enough is enough. You have food Nigeria enough. The Buari you package and sold to Nigeria. Where is he? Where is Buari? What has he done? Measure the transformation he has done. Measure it. Measure it. In percentage, measure it. You are slowly killing Nigerians and killing the economy. And then you sat on that chair. You sat on that chair. Are you the first person to start sniffing cocaine? If you sniff cocaine and you cannot control yourself, won't you go to your bed and sleep? You force your wife on negotiations as a senator. You force this on this as a governor. You force this on this as governor. You force commissioner. You force everybody. You still want to force a known criminal on a those people? It's not going to work. September 11, a those people will shock you. A those people will shock you. And when they shock you, see, the result of September 19 election, you will collapse. In the name of Jesus, all of you who are, who are bent on rigging this election, if you don't take time, you will go for it. The God of heaven will strike you. The God that the people of Edo State serve will strike you. So you think Edo people don't like good things? You want to push God in the out? You want to rig the election? I tell you in the name of Jesus, every one of you that are planning to rig this election, a night or that day, God will silence you all. Come to Edo State. The Bible says he disappoints the devices of the crafty and their hands cannot perform their enterprise. God is going to disappoint all of you. It was God that called Obaseki to come and be governor of Edo State. The man did not force himself on us. We called him. Second general, we are voting for him. You are, you are, you are in Lagos saying nonsense. I, 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 want, I want to stop here. But if you have the boldness again, before this election, before our election, make one, one mistake again. Make one statement. Let me hear one pin from your mouth. I will come to Lagos. I will take you out of Lagos. I will mobilize. I will take you out of Lagos. Whether you like it or not, you are not a Lagosian. We know you. You are not a Lagosian. You are killing Lagos economy. You are a political killer. Yes. A political killer is that man that kills the economy, kills manpower, kills everything. You want to turn the people of Lagos, Lagos to slave. Who are you? When we men are talking, can you talk? What nonsense. Sat like, sat like an overfed baby, like one baby that they fed with a camel for, for hours and was talking anyhow. I saw your eyes. Your eyes were dilating like a, pre like, 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 like a pregnant woman. I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry uh, to our mothers. Your eyes were dilating. I saw your eyes. Your eyeball rolled up. And whenever it rolled up, it means you are taking excess cocaine. And that was why a cup of water was by your side, so that you can be calming down the heat of that cocaine. Okay. I don't want to say much again. I don't want to say much again. But if you know you are Bola Ahmed Tinubu, you were truly a former senator of this nation, and you are truly a former governor of this nation, and you are the APC national leader, oh God, I beg you, go to television again and talk. Or organize your camera again and talk. I will chase you out of Nigeria. Nonsense. And for Oshomole, we will send you to Lagos to you. Say you love him, Abi. We will send Oshomole to you. As usual, be ready, you will hear. Every time your candidate is a fails an election, anytime he fails, he always collapses. Be ready to treat him. He's going to collapse again. The former collapse was small. This time he's going to collapse again. We will donate money to treat him. And that's not Lagos. The other time you came and said uh, Obasaki does not have certificate. Obasaki, it's true. He does not have certificate in stealing. He does not have certificate of corruption. He does not have certificate of banditry. He does not have certificate of assassination. Obaseki hand is clean. He does not have certificate of underdevelopment. He doesn't know how to cut corners. Yes. He doesn't, he, does, he doesn't have the certificate of sharing money. The certificate he has is that one which was awarded to him by the University of Ibadan, a prestigious university. Yes. The certificate in his hand are certificate of development. The one that can change the face of our state as we are currently witnessing. Oga, if you are not aware, our power station will soon be up. And those that will start in, uh, 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 experiencing and enjoying all the talented power supply. You are in Lagos with all the rivers and everything there. You could not, with all the money Lagos is making, you could not even build one 
power station. You will not allow them to work. Everybody has a lot of plans. You, you, you have butted all the plans because of your selfish personal desire. Wicked old man. Very, very wicked. When men are of your age, they start putting their house together for their children so that they can enjoy and have a beautiful future. So that when they die, their children will enjoy. What are you doing? You are instead, it is this your age that you are using to destroy Nigeria, you are using to destroy Lagos. And you are sitting down and it pains and gain. When you are saying you suffer for, for, for democracy in Nigeria, what do you want the life the likes of our nationalists to say? The people who stood and gave their life, what do you want them to say? If you, small boy of yesterday, eh, a poor deportee man, if you are talking like this, what do you want those ones to say? Okay, I beg, I don't want to talk. I beg. During our body time, Lagos economy was sitting on $200 million per day. And at now, now it's about 280 or 280 or 320 million per day. Million dollars per day. How much of the money? All the money coming to, to Lagos government. What are you doing with them? You are sitting there. You have turned, uh, uh, you turned Sol Olu to an errand boy. You turn him, he's running up and down your kitchen, running up and down your house. That's a governor because of power. Please, it's okay. Enough is enough. Let's, let's vote wisely. We are going to vote Obaseki. We are going to vote Obaseki. Tinubu, whether you like it or not, whether someone will like it or not, whether anybody in your creed like it or not, Edo must move forward. Edo must move forward. In your present, we will excel. Thank you, Nigerians. Thank you, Edo people. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Please disregard Tifnubu. Disregard Osho Omaole. Disregard Malam Osage Ize Yamu. Go to the booths and vote massively. Vote overwhelmingly for Governor Godwin Nogega and his deputy, Comrade Philip Saibu. And I tell you, for the next four years, a dozen will, will witness the best of robust governance. A dozen will laugh and laugh and laugh. The fortune of the people will turn around. With Obaseki, you will have only the best and nothing but the best. Leave all those old men that are talking and let them see. I will assure you that September 19, God himself is coming down. God himself is coming down to defend the vote of the people. We as a people, we are ready. We are going to defend our vote. It's not all this all we are saying. We will defend our vote. God will back us up. And Obaseki will return. He will win with the last slide. Your vote will speak. Don't be scared. None of you will die. No policeman will kill you. No soldier will kill you. Thank you, my great people. God bless you all. I see the man, your son, your servant, Bob Manuel Umoru. I am Jesus' army. I am a soldier of Jesus Christ. And I will die at my post. No man can kill me. Don't be scared. I have spoken. And please tell us what you to be, to be bold enough to reply me on this video. And I will tell him that my father gave birth to me, that my mother gave birth to me. I will chase him out of Lagos. I will mobilize human resources and I chase him out of Lagos. Both human, financial, and material resources needed to chase him out of Lagos. Lagosians have been waiting for that. I will liberate Lagosians for him. I will liberate Lagosians from his head. I will chase him out of Lagos. And Lagos will be free. Lagos will develop in speed. And then the best of the best men will have opportunity to rule Lagos. God bless you all. It's still 4 plus 12. Toba is of Baseki, of Baseki, of Baseki. It's PDP all the way. PDP all the way. God bless you all. And good night. God bless you.